Hey y'all, what's going on? Lisa here, Family Foods. This is part two of Meal Prep Monday. You can catch the first video um, I just made. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Um, but uh, right now, I just want to show you the uh, tofu. Just took it out of the air fryer. Look at that, ba look at those babies. Got a nice little coating on them so they can soak up any kind of sauce. And uh, they're just very simple with a little salt and pepper and um, I can do whatever I want with them. So I got the tofu ready and uh, I'm also making some uh, oat milk. So you can make whatever kind of milk you want, but um, you can find a video on uh, homemade oat milk. Uh, I got a, a recipe for that, but it's basically one cup of oats and four cups of water. I put a little pinch of uh, salt and you can put a little bit of honey or sugar or whatever if you want it a little sweet or vanilla. You can even pray a date. The secret to making this oat milk so it does not come out slimy and stuff is you want to put the water in, the oats, whiz it up, and then strain it. Otherwise, the starches start to come out, and, um, and that's what kind of makes it a, a funky texture, I found. So, I just uh, did this. You want to pour it through a nut bag, strainer, or a um, cheesecloth, and, uh, and that's it. I'm going to have some homemade milk, and I'll put this in a mason jar. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, and at the end I'm gonna show you everything that I that I've prepped up, so you can see what it looks like and see what the fridge looks like, nice and clean and organized. And I'll see what I want to make next. The next thing I'm gonna make, guys, is a uh, corn salad. Um, this is a ear that was left from uh, I don't know the last shopping haul. It was the worst corn ever, and someone shared with me. This is the corn that my neighbor brought me. Um, a little tip of how you can tell if the corn is gonna be sweet or not. And uh, this is just what someone told me. I don't know. Leave me in the comments if this if it's true or not. But he said you want to look for really small little kernels. See how these are like nice and tight and small. And that means it's from like the first crop. When um, they get big like this, see how this is all big? This has no flavor. I just cut a piece off. I'm not even going to use it. It's, it's just it's terrible. See how big these kernels are? This is, uh, I don't know, this guy said it's like they, they leave them on there and they get like the second round and they're never as good. And if that's the truth, uh, it, it makes perfect sense because this corn tastes like crap. Um, so bad that um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Compost it. <laughs> so I'm going to work with this and I'm going to put together a little salad and I'll show you um, what that looks like. I'm making the uh, corn salad. Remember, you want to try to make the best of your time. So I've got, um, I'm gonna start some uh, quinoa. I've got a little bit of quinoa and lentils. They cook at the exact same time. So I like to kind of mix it up. That way I just get a little extra boost of protein and it kind of uh, cuts the cost too of quinoa. Um, so I like to do this little mix. So I'm gonna put some water in here and I'm gonna cook this 12 minutes in my um, Instant Pot uh, while I'm making my corn salad. And check out this salad, guys. So, in this salad bowl, I got some, um, the corn I took off the cob. I chopped up some kale. I put in that little red Fresno chili I had bought, um, I don't know, a week and a half ago or so. Some thinly sliced onion, some tomato, and then I even put in some peaches I had in the freezer. I just chopped them up. They're going to kind of disintegrate a little bit, almost as if, like, they're my sauce, but... Mango would be good in here or some oranges some kind of fruit would be nice and then I just um, Put some fresh lime juice. That's it again. We're keeping this very simple So that way I'm not stuck eating the same salad every single day. I can be creative Some avocado would be really good in here I have this ripe avocado, but if I put the avocado in here It's gonna get kind of mushy and the textures off so it's best to add things like this um, at right when you're gonna eat it, you know, just top it with some. Um, but I might want to put some honey mustard sauce. I might want to do some sweet chili sauce. I might want to use it um, in one of my uh, nourish bowls on the side and let it absorb some of the flavors or whatever um, that is, you know. So um, that's why we're keeping everything kind of basic, so that way we have more flexibility and it's more versatile for us, and and um, you won't get bored with it. Um, I've got the quinoa. Look at that, beautiful, what was that? My handle thing for, came loose for my camera. Yep, some quinoa with some lentils. So I'll let that cool off. And, um, oh man guys, this uh, tofu is off the charts. It is so good. 
It really is. Just simple. Kind of reminds me of Whole Foods on that salad bar. They had that crispy tofu. I'm going to eat this as a snack. Wow, that is fantastic. Um, okay, what's next? I think um, all I'm going to do is maybe prep up some carrots um, for the kids, some veggies. I'm going to do that next. And then I'm going to show you everything. And then I think um, I was planning on doing one dessert. I think I'm going to make some uh, cookies. So I'm going to do that a separate recipe video. Um, so I can end this one. So I'll prep up the veggies. I'll show you everything I've done from video one and today. And that's it. I should keep you guys rolling for a week. All right, I'll catch you soon. And here is everything that I'm going to make right now. Of course, I've got some... Um, Zucchini, I was gonna do some zucchini noodles and I have some broccoli and I was gonna do maybe like a roasted veg But I think this is enough for right now. Um, this is definitely a lot of food to get us going here. So um, I cut up some raw carrots and some cucumber. So that's easy to go for the kids um, And uh, since I had the carrots out and I had a big bag I um, Roasted some in the air fryer too. Just just again just a little bit of salt on those and um, so those are nice and roasted. That'll be good on a salad or in a Buddha bowl too. And yeah, I think that's all I did since the last little clip here. But let's go through what we got. So we got a nice uh, uh, salad here with the kale and the peaches, tomatoes, corn. I've got some steamed potatoes that I can, like I said, eat as a snack. You'll see me doing that or make mashed or roasted. I've got fruit cut up, okay. I got some homemade oat milk ready to go. I've got some roasted sweet potatoes. I've got some quinoa with lentils in it. Uh, roasted carrots. I've got some um, crispy tofu here. I've got some lentils that are being that are going to be turned into sprouts for later in the week. And I've got a coconut curry sauce. So this is just it for right now get you going and of course uh, stay tuned through the week because you'll see me using all this up um, as well as some other things that I obviously bought from the store but thanks so much for watching remember always eat happy foods remember always make food with love if you like these type of videos please give it a thumbs up lets me know what videos you guys are a fan of and don't forget to subscribe um, next week I won't I won't make these quite as long I just wanted to throw those kind of tips and in intro uh, for this first first one, but um, I'll try to just have everything prepped up like this and walk you guys through um, Like my old video back two years ago, which you can check out as well. It's really good So I will catch you guys uh, real soon. Ciao my friends